The two most common SSD types are SATA and M.2. Both interfaces are commonly found in today's computers. Most SATA SSDs are 2.5-inch drives, while an M.2 drive is much smaller. M.2 drives come in different sizes, indicated by four numbers. These numbers represent the physical dimensions. M.2 2280 is common in both desktops and laptops. Smaller sizes are more practical for laptops, where space is limited. Let's talk speed. The current generation SATA interface is limited to 600 megabytes per second, while the current generation of M.2 can reach speeds up to 7,000 megabytes per second. Take advantage of its blistering speeds to transfer the big size of videos, games, and many other programs. And with Windows 11 introducing direct storage, upcoming games can take advantage of that. This will give you a noticeable performance upgrade compared to SATA SSDs in the near future. RAID stands for the abbreviation of Redundant Array of Independent Disks. It is a way of storing data on multiple drives. There are a number of RAID levels, each of which offers different advantages and disadvantages. So it's important to understand what RAID array best fits your demand. In general, people use RAID for three main reasons. Security, data storage and copy. Speed, improve read and write speed. Storage, maximize your storage capacity with multi-drives. First, let's talk RAID 0 level. The data is split up into blocks that get written across all the drives in the array. The advantage of RAID 0 is great performance, both in read and write operations, and all storage capacity is 100% used. The disadvantage is not fault tolerant. If any drive in a RAID 0 fails, all the data on the drive will be lost. Next, RAID 1 level. It takes even number drives and mirrors the contents of one to the other, making a duplicate copy. The advantage is, even if one of the drives fails, the other one will still have all the content. However, it means that there is only half of the total disk space remaining because of the mirroring structure. RAID 5 level requires at least three drives to work, striping the data with a parity distributed across all drives. So the RAID 5 array can withstand a single drive failure without losing data, though there is also one drive capacity lost due to parity, and all data will be lost if two drives fail at once. The other recommendation is RAID 10, which combines the advantages of great performance of RAID 0 and data protection of RAID 1 in a single system. When the SSD is under full workload of heavy reads and writes, it will heat up significantly. The higher temperature will have impacts on SSD speed and performance. The continuous heat could damage the flash memory and even shorten SSD's lifespan. So SSD heat sinks do matter. Here is the temperature test with and without heat sinks when SSDs are in idle and full workloading status. The test suggests that the temperature differential could reach 20 degrees Celsius maximum, proving great significance of heat sinks on SSDs. The latest MSI M.2 SSD not only features heatsink, but also supports PS5, offering you the best gaming performance and expanded storage without thermal throttling. To know more about MSI Spadium SSDs, check out the product page.